Hi, my name is Tara. This is my YouTube channel, and today I will be continuing my Monarch Butterfly series. Yay! Today is December 12th, and I finally have all of the seeds that I ordered, including the Butterfly World seeds. Some came earlier, I just haven't had the chance to film since the time that I actually got them. So before I show you the seeds, let me explain in the best way I can the process that I'm about to do and why I'm doing it. The process is called cold stratification. I mentioned this a little in my first video. Cold stratification is basically putting the seeds through a simulation of winter. This process is needed for most if not all perennial plants like lavenders and milkweed. It's recommended for anyone who lives in a place where it doesn't stay at least 40 degrees Fahrenheit or lower for a consistent or monthly period of time. It's not hard to replicate either. These type of seeds must endure cold, moist weather in order to begin germination or their germination cycle. Without it, their likelihood of germination is greatly reduced. Now, I found a few sites that explain to people how to properly perform cold stratification on seeds. I will be comparing these sites and choosing the method that pops up the most because apparently there are a few ways to do it. Sorry guys, I had to step out for a minute. I don't know if you can tell, but um, let's go on to the first site. So the first site is this site, whatever I put on the screen, and it literally just says to put your seeds in the fridge. I'm not mad at this site though because I don't think its purpose was to go into explicit detail on how to do this step by step. But yes, it says to put your seeds in the fridge. I'm going to move on to the next site. The second site is whatever I put on the screen. And the materials, they actually tell you materials that are needed. The materials are a Ziploc bag, milkweed seeds, a paper towel, and a Sharpie pen. Step 1 says place seeds in a Ziploc bag. Wet the paper towel and gently wring it out so it is damp but not dripping with water. Too much water may cause the seeds to mold inside the bag. Spread your milkweed seeds out on a damp paper towel and fold it so the paper towel fits inside the Ziploc bag. Step 2 says label the bag. Label the bag with the date and type of seed. You may even want to set a reminder on your phone or calendar so you can remember to take them out in 30 days. Step 3 says to place in the refrigerator. Store the mixture in the refrigerator at 30 to 38 degrees Fahrenheit for the recommended time on your seed packet. For butterfly milkweed, Asclepius tuberosa, Prairie New Nursery recommends 30 days of cold stratification. Make sure to put your seeds somewhere safe in the fridge where they will not be disturbed. I like to put the bag into a Tupperware container to ensure they don't get smashed or damaged. Check on the seeds after a few weeks and if you notice the seeds starting to sprout in the bag, plant immediately. Recommended cold stratification periods according to milkweed species. It says for the swamp milkweed, 30 days. So now the third site is whatever one um, pops up right here or right here or right here or right there or right here right here and the instructions on this one say to first gather your supplies native milkweed seeds coffee filters or paper towel okay plates plastic sandwich bags and a food container or food containers because apparently step one was getting the items which makes sense Step two is to soak your filters. After you have soaked a filter or paper towel under the faucet, shake out excess water and lay it on the plate. Number three, fold your seeds. Place the seeds on the wet filter or napkin, then fold the filter or napkin over them so they stay inside. Number four, bag your seeds. Place your folded filter into a plastic sandwich bag and seal the bag shut. Number five, containerize your seeds. Place the sandwich bag inside of a food container and secure the lid. A little tip is if you limit each container to one species of milkweed, you should be able to place the filters directly in the sealed containers without the plastic bags. Number six, refrigerate your seeds. Put them in a safe place inside your refrigerator for about a month. Let's move on to the next site. This site's name is and they do things a little differently. 
of course, number one is to collect your materials. It says milkweed seeds, a plastic bag, a bulb growing tray, or other large shadow container or dr with drainage holes. Mm-hmm. Numerous four inch pots, stratification mix, seed germinating mix, well draining growing mix. I do I do want to let you know that I don't know what they're talking about. Number two says soak and stratify seeds. Milkweed seeds require some time in the damp cool. Soak milkweed seeds in water for several hours or overnight. Tap water is okay. After the seeds are soaked, put them in the sealed bag, plastic bag, filled with moist stratification mix. And by moist, we mean like a damp sponge, no excess water. Refrigerate the bag of moist seeds in their mix for at least two weeks. For some species of Asclepius, 30 days of cool moist stratification yields 85% germination or better. Check your seeds every day or so. Some seeds such as Asclepius incarnata and Asclepia tuberosa may begin to germinate in the bag. Oh, I see. The reason why some of these other uh, supplies were needed were because they were going to tell you about germination and transplanting. Okay, so what I can see is the main difference between this one and the other two I read was that this one uses a soil instead of just a paper towel or a filter. Moving along, so the last website is this one. And this one says... Uh, how to perform cold stratification in your kitchen refrigerator. Step 1. Place your milkweed seeds in a damp paper towel inside a Ziploc type bag and place in your fridge for 4 to 6 weeks, 30 days minimum. Choose a low traffic place inside your fridge, perhaps taped to the bottom of a shelf or in a vegetable bin so it won't get damaged. That's all that they say. So I guess we're done with that site. So now that I've looked at all of the sites, I've decided which method I would rather go with. I choose the Ziploc bag method. One, because this method popped up the most, and two, because I already have all of the supplies needed. But before I actually get started though, I would like to check out one more site, and this site is YouTube. I found a YouTube video, a couple of YouTube videos actually, that show me exactly what they do. This is important to me because I am a visual learner more than any other kind of learner. So now that I've seen this and a few other videos along with it, I'm very confident that I know what I'm doing. So now, here are my seeds. Okay, it's a little hard to see. But first, this is my butterfly blanket, and I thought it'd be appropriate for the video. I also went into my garage and I found this. This is a paper butterfly that uh, I used to put on my project boards in elementary. I did not know that I still had this, which is crazy. But here, here are the star of the shows, okay? This is just instructions, by the way. It comes with this one. So here is Butterfly World's seeds. These are the Asclepius perennises. These will be indoor plants. And the instructions are right here at the bottom. I cannot see through my camera lens, so please take a moment to read. I got tired of standing. So here are the white milkweeds. These are also known as the ice ballets. And they are in here. Here are the instructions that these came with. Here are the pink milkweeds. This is how they came. And here are the aquatic milkweeds, the other Asclepius perennises. Because I bought two packs of Asclepius perennises from two different sites. The first one was from Butterfly World. So here is the first pack. I, I checked and I found out that I don't know if this is a gift packet I have to go back to the package that they came from but they gave me another set of seeds 
I don't know if this was intentional or not, but I'm like I said, I'm going to go check and find out if these were intentional and if these are native first so that I can know if these are right for me to plant. If not, then I'm going to give them to someone else. All right, y'all, so pardon my dirty kitchen, but here are my supplies. I've got my seeds. I've got my seeds, I've got my water, I've got my napkins, I've got my Sharpie, I've got my, what's this thing? I got my container and I'm missing my Ziploc bags. And I got my Ziploc bags. So I'm gonna start with the pink slant milk weed. That's right here. These are the pink ones. Not many come in here, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to break this napkin in half and then put them on this side and then fold this side that way. That way it does make it easier to fit into these Ziploc bags because these Ziploc bags are smaller than I thought they'd be. If my camera will focus. There we go. So let's see how that works. All right, so I'm gonna move these out of the way. These didn't come with any specific instructions, so I'm going to follow the instructions that come on here as well as the instructions that I looked up. I stepped away for a second, can you tell? I don't know if you can. So here is my half napkin. I'm going to take these seeds and I'm going to sprinkle them on and separate them just a little so that they're their own individual seed. Okay, I stepped away again. Can you tell? Um, so I believe that I need to wet the paper towel before I put the seeds on it. I realized that I made the mistake of pouring the seeds first. I mean, I don't know if the order matters, but everyone seems to wet their napkin before they put it on. So I'm going to do that. They said to make sure that you don't wet the napkin too much because if you wet the napkin too much, then the seeds will mold. So they say to put enough so that it reaches the edge of the napkin, but not so much. Don't worry, I'll clean my counter later. Let's just hope that this doesn't do anything to the napkin because I'm seeing imprints. And if this doesn't work, I'll find another method. Like for example, doing it maybe on top of the Ziploc bag. That sounds like a good idea, right guys? So this one looks wet enough to me. I left some of the ends and it's filling to the other ends so i guess that's wet enough make sure that it's damp not jumping otherwise wring it out cool now i can take the seeds that i had before and sprinkle them on Gonna bring this a little further down. Alright, so this is what these look like. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and cover it over. Of course I couldn't do that properly with one hand though. And you press it down. You take your Ziploc bag, before you put them in the Ziploc bag, put your name of the plant, which you should have done this step first. That's where I'm wrong. Say a 12? 12, 12? Are we doing 12, 12 here? 12, 12, 12. all right. 12, 12, 20. Cool. Perfect, okay.
I'm only pressing down parts of it because I want to make sure that I push all of the air out first and then seal the rest. And that's one. I'm going to do the rest off camera because first my camera's getting ready to die and second I'm running out of space so. Okay, so I hope you guys don't hate me, but I wouldn't want you to follow me anyway in the procedure that I use because I don't know how my things are going to turn out yet. It would be a different circumstance if I had already gardened this and I knew how it turned out and then I made the video, but that's not the case. You guys are following me along, so I would say pay more attention to the websites that I showed you and you should be fine. That's the end of this video. Subscribe if you feel like subscribing. I have a whole series planned out. Like if you feel like liking. All of my sources will be listed below except for most likely the YouTube videos. And if you don't see them down below then just know that I posted them during the video. Comment to share your thoughts, your ideas, your questions, or even your stories. And let me know what additional information you can provide for me because I know that there is still more to learn. Also, I'd like to have a conversation with people. Remember to be kind, y'all stay happy, and y'all stay healthy. And hope to have you back in my next video.